ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Malifaux, and you'll have to forgive me, I'm going to try to do this one at a bit of a rapid pace, because due to various errors and what have you, I'm recording this for the second time, and I do hate having to do work I've already done again. So this is the table, the terrain is probably familiar to you, we've got um, walls, um, forests, these walls are height uh, 2 in the middle and height 1 on, in, in the indents. This is a single forest area, just draw a straight line between the uh, between the bits. Here's my crew. We've got Gups, Gups, McTavish, Bad Juju with Eternal Fiend, Lilith with Beck and Malifaux, Spawn Leather, Gups and Gups. My opponent's bringing the Brutal Emissary with Conflux of Incineration. Sonya Creed with Counterspell Aura, The Mask and Sheriffay's Imprint. Brutal Effigy, Witchling Handler, and the two Ramones, no idea which one's which, uh, they are counting as mounted guards. As I'm facing Sonya, I've tried to spread out a bit. There are a lot of backfield objectives, so I'm going to try to slip down one flank, so I've put the gops on the sides, and I intend to use this kind of terrain-heavy area for Lilith's forests, and that's where I'm going to try to block his, uh, what looks like to be his run down this flank and collect some heads before zipping Lilith into the backfield in the last turn. Turn 1, I do love Double Rush of Magic. I go out aggressive, uh, Primordial Magic goes up and I swap it out for Bad Juju with Lilith, who then runs over here to try to be away from Sonya's Blasting. I put trees down to try to keep Juju safe, but the Emissary can ignore Line of Sight to make things burning, which is just disgusting. I'm sending Gups up the flank, dropping a Ski Marker for McTavish to use later. Bit of a mistake, I should have put it uh, within three inches of him. Bad Juju comes up over here, I was worried that Sonya would uh, see through and blast onto Lilith, I mean I haven't really done anything to change that. I guess I'm trying to make him more of a threat for next turn, but my opponent takes advantage of my stupidity and plonks a trap right in front of him. The Pathfinder then blasts him for severe and moderate, I use two soul stones, and after the Emissary goes, the upshot is I'm, what, got four damage left, he's slow, he's got two burning, yeah, it's not good. Sonya goes, she targets Bad Juju. She actually hits the Clockwork Trap and just vaporizes them both. She puts up her Flame Walls, and this is how the end of the turn looks. I've uh, moved McTavish up to threaten some shots on, uh, on these guys. I'd really want him over here uh, to take these guys down, but he's, uh, he was out of position. Swamp Mother's crossed over to this side and dropped an egg because she was out of position. And this is clearly the flank I want to make a break up. And these Gups have come out. Um, this one hopefully to get... A, if I get the initiative, I can go get collect Bad Juju's head, which is plonked right in front of the guild forces, and these guys to try to lure um, the hamster wheels into a charge. That'll bring out Bad Juju, and hopefully allow me to smack them around and collect some heads myself. Turn to what a hand, that is uh, certainly going to be helpful. I lose the initiative, the Pathfinder goes and picks up Bad Juju's head, damn. I then try to snag him with Lilith's Tangle Shadows. For some reason, he's a willpower 6. Uh, I don't know if there's some kind of aura, I can't remember. So I fail the first attempt, I black joker the second attempt, and succeed on the third attempt, placing some gups up here and then putting the trees in front of them to help protect them a tiny weeny bit. Yeah, that probably wasn't worth three soul stones. The hamster wheels charge, make a mess of my gups, bringing out bad juju. And we made a mistake here, or rather I did. I thought bad juju was summoned, and so he. Uh, Every time he pops out this game, he is counted as slow and can't interact. If that's not correct, he's unburied, which means he has no such restrictions. This would probably make quite a bit of a difference. Um, my bad. I'll just remember that for future games. Unfortunately, with all their triggery shenanigans, one of the hamster wheels breaks away and drops a ski market in my backfield. Damn! Spawn Mother's laying more eggs and McTavish starts shooting at Sonya. I considered shooting the Pathfinder. But I want to put pressure on the Master, soak out some Soul Stones, and ideally try to take her out before these guys get in the backfield, otherwise she will wipe them out. At the end of the turn, things look like this. I brought the Gups back into this corner to try to help out. Primordial Magic's made this one insignificant, and Sonya's blasted McTavish for not too much damage. I think I got away quite lightly. So this turn, I don't think I score anything, and my opponent picks up his Levy Mark. Would have been really nice if the Gups would have uh, performed their leap. Oh, and these ones. Uh, got ones up here, but it failed its leap, so I didn't place any markers for my leaving mark. And obviously my opponent scored for the head earlier in the turn. Turn 3. Certainly can't complain about my control hand. 
even got a tasty tasty low mask. I lose the initiative and the emissary pine boxes bad juju. One of the gups comes over to block off the head marker and this hamster mounted guard thing charges Lilith, pushing the pathfinder out of her clutches. The gups succeed! Top decking, top decking a leap and drop me two markers in um, the guild backfield. Go gups! The spawn mother spawns two new gups. This hamster wheel tries to shoot at the primordial magic um, so that it won't be insignificant anymore and fails to kill it. So primordial runs away over here. This was a mistake. I wanted to charge this guy and tried to try to hurt him a bit. I forgot that I could just charge through him over to, to here, which would be much better. But as it is, I go here. Sonya goes, hits McTavish, and just fucking murderizes um, these guys. Sigh. But that does enable me to bring Brad Juju back out. Haha, <laughs> free from the pine box. And I cheat my card to leap away from the Pathfinder and go collect the, the other Gup's head with these Gup's. McTavish switches targets to the Pathfinder, uh, but can't kill him. I really should have focused. I had the severe damage card in hand, and with the nearby Swamp Fiends, I had the, uh, the dual advantage. But I fuck it up. So nobody scores ahead. Oh, sorry, I scored ahead. The Guild don't score, leave your mark. I don't score leave your mark because the brutal effigy ran around here to block this, the top marker, and the um, what's the name, witchling handler moved over to here to block this one. I've moved my gups up to try to break through uh, from a different angle next turn. Oh, and nearly forgot. I was terrified that the emissary was going to pine box Lilith next turn because her willpower is shit. Didn't realise he can't target enemy masters, so I spend all her actions trying to walk away from this thing, and I fail every single time. I was flipping just terribly. We go to turn 4. I get the initiative, use my 11 of masks to tangle Shadow to McTavish, and then just walk Lilith twice up to engage Sonya. I put <laughs> forests down over here, because again I'm scared that this guy's going to come up from Pine Boxer, and I'm an idiot. But I'd just like to, you know, this, this demonstrates quite nicely how rapid Lilith can be. The Witchling Handler kills my summoned Gups, and I am just like a Bacterium Scrotum out of range for the Spawn Mother to charge. Could not believe it! And the Handler just walks up over here to engage everything. Bad Juju dies to the Hamster Wheel, and we place his head here. The Gups come and sit on the head and try to engage the Pathfinder, but he slips through their clutches and goes and places his marker here. Damn! The Emissary activates. Surprisingly can't kill the Gups, and Bad Juju unburies! We're a bit uncertain about this ruling. Um, my opponent was convinced that this was the right thing to do. I'm gonna admit I'm not sure. But the emissary did bury a bad juju, and he was buried at the time the emissary finished his activation. Uh, I, if someone knows how this should be played, I'd be really grateful if you put it in the comments. Bad juju goes, does nothing to the emissary, um, does his avalanche thing, and only hits and slows the gups. Sigh. The Spawn Mother just moves up ineffectually, she can't get her eggs cast because of the aura this fucking bitch has. The Gups vent their rage on her though, doing severe damage for three. And then the Brutal Effigy just comes up and removes this skin marker. Lilith holds out against Sonya, I think I only take two damage from the Sword Swing and then three damage from the Burning Aura of Death that I fucking hate, so she's now on half damage. I can't remember what McTavish did. I might even have forgot to use him. At least Lilith is bleeding on Sonya, that's one thing. Turn 5, that hand's gonna have to do! I lose the initiative, but thankfully my opponent goes with the Handler. He kills the Gups, dropping the head over here. And because the Spawn Mother is engaged, she can't charge. Oh, I'm such a bad player. That's fine, because Lilith goes, and she swats uh, Sonya for severe damage. So she's got four wounds left and no soul stones. Things are looking pretty good until I black Joker on a positive flip for damage. Fuck my life! Now I've got a decision to make. I can try to kill Sonya, pretty likely, now that the black Joker is out of my hand and score one point for Lilith, or I could use my next ac action, last action, to walk her into the um, deployment zone and potentially score two points. However, so long as Sonya hits me once and does her flame order, Lilith will die at the end of the turn. So it's risky. I decide to go with the sure thing and have the satisfaction of swatting that fucking witch hand, witch uh, stalker, whatever she's called, witch hunter, into the abyss. I swing my sword of truth and he flips the red joke. Makes me sick. 
the slow gups get away from the emissary but can't get within four of the marker. Not that it matters because the hamster wheel kills them anyway. The other gups go down, um, dropping their head, but I don't think anyone picks it up. I think it took they uh, they held out long enough to uh, waste this guy's AP. And finally, I remember McTavish, and he shoots Sonya in her crap lousy face. That feels so good. Looks like the effigies managed to pick up the gup's head and get over here, and the spawn mother breaks out of combat and drops a marker for leaving mark. Bad Juju and the emissary do nothing important, and the guild pathfinder manages to get another ski marker down. And there is the end of the game. The guild scored two points for Headhunter, one point for Levy Mark, and three points for Breakthrough. The Neverborn scored one point for Headhunter, one point for Levy Mark, and one point for Under Undercover Entourage, making this game 6 7 to the guild. This was a game that started badly and went downhill from there. Getting Bad Juju's unbearing rules wrong, well, that probably hurt a bit, but I didn't use him very well at all. There was no reason to get him so. Uh, in such a bad position in the first turn. If the Gups would ever fucking leap, they'd be dangerous, but that suit dependency is a real killer. My opponent played the deployment game well, putting me out of position with uh, the way he positioned his forces, and uh, he drove drove home. Well played, that man. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Despite the fact that my cards gave me the finger this game, I mean, I draw great control hands, it seems, looking at these pictures but I flip like total shit and just end up having to burn through them. Some card management is definitely in order and I need to practice that. But yeah, I really, really liked my list actually. This is a really fun crew to play. Uh, Bad Juju popping up everywhere is, uh, yeah, that's just a ton of laughs. It's got a lot of scheme running this crew. The, uh, the Spawn Mother, you know, helps keep the numbers up and could also be quite useful if she could ever get that charge. Bad Juju and McTavish hit pretty hard and synergize quite well. So yeah, I'm looking forward to giving this uh, this crew another game. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Many thanks to my opponent, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. <laughs>